Story time. With the aid of these balls, I'm going to try to illustrate a technology of people linking up with each other and forming a core group. These balls, these represent the mass of humanity. If we're talking about humans on Earth. So, the mass of humanity, largely unconscious, just milling around, doing their own thing, but not really connecting with each other in a deep and meaningful way. They don't really know who they are because they're not conscious, they're not awake to, to their God source. Then one day, some bright spark wakes up and connects to <laughs> yeah, very good. Connects to his God source, his higher self, whatever you want to call it. The big light in the sky. But he's still um, alone and um, can't do very much on his own amongst this mass of humanity. Then one day, another being, or well, human being, wakes up. Also connected to their God self. It must be, otherwise they wouldn't be really awake. And the God source, the creator, is only one. So they're both connected to source. People still milling around. But one day, gradually, through a gap in the fog between people, they see each other. And when I say see, I don't necessarily mean visually, although that's helpful, but they connect heart to heart. And uh, maybe it's through the internet they see each other in that way. Aloha or Sabona, as they say in South Africa. So now we have at least the beginning of a design. When you're inventing or making anything, it could be even that, it has to start with a single point on a piece of paper, or these days on a computer, and another point and then you join them and make a line and you've got the beginning of a design something you can do something with a triangle two people in agreement with God and with each other and that first line of agreement between two people is very crucial to better build anything in a spiritual sense in 3D on earth then one day another bright being wakes up and I don't have the right balls for this drill, but um, <laughs> very symbolic. Um, I haven't drilled them ahead because it's the wrong kit. So anyway, that one also connects the source and sooner or later finds the other people, that, the other two people that have woken up. So now you've got three people on earth awake and in agreement with source in agreement with each other, because they're in agreement with Source, they're about the one thing. Their hearts are open to each other and to God. And then you've got a tetrahedron, and that's something you can really build with. Three people plus Source. Now eventually, from Source, because this is a flat land, but really it's, it's three-dimensional, and we're talking about beings, angelic beings, the earth is round, they're on the surface of the earth, but it's all an illusion. We're talking illusory games in uh, the ether, and geometry still applies there. So eventually, from source, you find there's 12 people, and they form this shape around the source. Alternatively, to explain, that one being in the middle, instead of that being source, can also be understood to be the first person who woke up 
in Earth. And six people around that one. Let me show you this on these small beings here. One in the middle, two, four, six, around. They can all touch each other and they can touch the central one. You did that geometry at school. There you go. That's as good as I can get it. Now, you can put three more on top, like that. I can't do it because they'll fall apart. And three underneath. There's the three on top. There's the six. And three underneath. And this forms a shape which if you join all the centers together it's called a cube octahedron I don't have that shape to show you right now but I can paste in a drawing to this video cube octahedron um, what's another word for it? Genisa crystal if you join all these with rings going round you get a ring going round there a ring going around there, a ring going around there. I think it's four rings and it makes a Genisa crystal. So that's the first building block for a core group. Twelve round one, the master and the twelve disciples. You'll find it in many ancient traditions. Twelve round one. So if you've got that, you've got your core group. All 12 can relate to the one in the middle. The one in the middle can relate to all the 12. And at some points you can relate to four at a time, or three at a time. They can all meet together, three there and one, four there and one. And they can relate sideways with each other, but maybe this guy doesn't see this guy around here. But he knows he's there, It's part of a core group. That's what we need. If we're going to expand the band, Om Shanti, peace.